Hey what's up guys welcome back to our channel technology and today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to fix unable to connect AWS RDP so you just need to follow me. So at first you need to go to your start menu on your computer and type over there on the start menu firewell.cpl okay. Also you can go through your run box just open your run box pressing windows and R button together from your keyboard and after that type over there firewell.cpl and press enter and you will get this window so once you have get this window you have to uh, click on this left side corner turn windows defender firewall on or off make sure that this option is not checked which is block incoming connection for public and private network okay one once it is done you have to click on ok so now you have to open your console amazon aws console so what you have to do you need to right click on your instance and you have to click on networking and after that click on change security groups so now you have to check which one is which one is selected over there so in my case as you can see it's checked uh, this uh, this security group which is launch uh, wizard 26 is checked so just close this window just remember this or copy this security group name from here just right click and copy and close this window now go to uh, security groups from your left side corner and you have to find over there launch security wizard r26 so this one as you can see so you have to click over there and on inbound rules you have to click on edit inbound rules and after that you have to click on add rule and you have to select customs tcp over there and you have to put over there uh, double three or uh, double three eight nine and on here you have to select anywhere or my IP so if you have a static IP in your home then you can select my IP because in generally we are using dynamic IP in our home so every time whenever we will restart our computer it will automatically change our IP so I will select here anywhere so it will help me help me to connect from any IPs and after that you have to scroll down and have to click on save rules so as you can see the specific rule already exists because I have already created this rule so here it is as you can see RDP this one so I will not create it once again okay so now just go to the previous changes and click on cancel now go to the outbound rule you have to click on edit outbound rule and you have to add custom TCP 3389 and on the custom you have to select anywhere and click on save the same way once it is done try to connect your instance just like me just right click over there and click on windows get password now I'm going to decrypt my password from here and after that I will try to connect my instance and now I'm going to try to connect my instance click on yes so as you can see I am able to access my VPS so I hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button. And if you have any questions or questions then comments down below. I will see you guys on the next one next video. Take care.